When you think of West Coast native art, there are totem poles, masks, and perhaps bentwood boxes. But chances are you've never seen one quite like this. So if you look at it, you can see you open it, and it's pink inside. And what's that supposed to symbolize? Oh, uh, what do you think? <laughs> it's called a hot box, and it's just it's one of the saucy items in a first-of-its-kind exhibit opening in Vancouver on First Nations erotica. There is a lot of eroticism, but it's just never seen uh, very often with outside of our community and even behind closed doors. Kwiwa Jones and Gwa Edenshaw have jointly curated the show. Is depicting the, uh, the uh, intimate part of a woman. From woven pieces of clothing to carvings with a sexual take on ordinary bits of life on the West Coast. This is supposed to represent a giant gooey duck, a tasty but phallic looking seafood delicacy. Um, when they hear the name, some people just go red when they realize the spelling of Resurrect. <laughs> so it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's fun. A lot of people get, get it. Both Jones and Edenshaw say part of the goal is to have a laugh about sexuality. Historically, all the Aboriginal sexuality that has been exposed has usually been quite dark. This is a way of trying to let go and move on. These objects are perhaps the most, well, striking. His and hers traditional shaming headdresses, apparently worn in some cultures as part of a tradition to humiliate a cheating spouse. We snapped some photos and showed them around a First Nations gathering in North Vancouver. It's different, that's for sure. And for many, it was clearly their first experience of First Nations erotica, too. Like a killer whale's fin. In fact, that was the gooey duck. The gallery curators have even offered a sort of peep show with tasteful imagery. I, I want people to just come in and rethink what they think about First Nations people and our culture. Tonight is opening night. Let the blushing begin. Chris Brown, CBC News, Vancouver.